So this is the second week in 2024. And I wanted to help people that wanted to get started in an apparel business. And um, I get a lot of questions about what is print on demand. Um, so I created a short course on what is print on demand. And the full video is on my um, YouTube page. I've created a full video <clears throat> about print on demand. For those that would like to get into the print on demand business, um, for any artists that have any um, artwork designs or any um, entrepreneurs that's looking to get in the print on demand business for a low startup cause, print on demand is what you want to do, okay? 2024, well, actually not even 2024. I started this business in 2020, and my goal was basically to work work smarter, not harder. And everybody's like, okay, why don't you just, if you, if you want to do um, T-shirts and hoodies and a pearl, why don't you just get the print press machine and all of that? I was like, I'm not interested in doing none of that at all. I'm interested in getting my... Getting getting the word out in regards to most of my apparel is geared toward um, um, empowerment and pearl, and geared toward um, <clears throat> I guess you can say Christian apparel, spiritual apparel, whatever. Um, yeah, so I wasn't really interested in going that way about it as far as like um, getting a machine because first you gotta. You got to find somewhere to put the machine. You got to find somewhere to put the supplies. You got to, it. that takes up space. And then once you um, get like, um, if you decide to do t-shirts and stuff like that, you got to buy that in bulk. And then you got to do the manual work yourself. But with print on demand, you don't have to do any of that. Okay. You don't have to buy any of that stuff. You don't have to worry about uh storing anything you don't have to, unless you want to just buy a bulk of your um designs from the print on demand uh platform you can do that as well but i normally don't do that at all but anywho so with print on demand this is basically the concept of print on demand and i'm just gonna just click into here this is um the video that is on my youtube page it's about 30 30 minutes long. I'm not going to go through this whole video on here. I'm just going to just touch on some of the points of what print on demand is. And if you want, you can go watch the full video, uh, which I uploaded last night. And um, yeah, it's a bunch of inform informative information, you know, for those that don't really have the time to really sit and research the whole process of print on demand and how it works and what it is, blah, blah, blah. It's a little video, 30-something minutes long, um, that breaks it down. And then um, tonight, I'll be releasing the second part of the video, which is um, which is uh, market research and niche selection. So, yeah. So, like I said, if you want to go ahead and you want to watch the full video, it's on my YouTube. And So, basically, real quick, what print and demand is, Okay. All right, y'all. So, first of all, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is um, our first print on demand 101 course part one, and we will be going over the print on demand business model when you are starting a business. So, without further ado, um, we're going to get right into it. And again, this is sponsored or this is created by Z Grace T a Pearl, as you can see here at the bottom um, of the slide. And we are a print on demand business that started in 2020, um, April of 2020 business. So without further. OK, real quick. So basically, um. <clears throat> I started this business in 2020. I was furloughed 
uh, for a couple of months during the pandemic. I was furloughed and I always kept telling my husband I wanted to do T-shirts. I wanted to do T-shirts that had like um, inspirational, uh, motivational messages, um, biblical um, from stuff from like um, Bible verses from like the Bible, like empowerment stuff, because, you know, I like to uh, motivate and empower people. So I was like, okay, why not do motivational shirts, motivational apparel and stuff like that. So I never really had the time to really sit and um, I never really had the time to really sit and like just uh, plan out how I was going to do or do my business plan. I never had that time until I got furloughed. So even though I got furloughed and... um. I, it was like at the time when I, the first day I got furloughed, I was like, okay, I've been asking God, you know, during the COVID, uh, the pandemic, I've been asking God to protect me from and my family from even coming in contact with COVID. And, you know, it was kind of crazy at work because I worked in a um, radiology office, which in regards, we see a lot of sick patients because, you know, we don't x-rays, CTs, MRIs and shit like that. So <clears throat> we came in contact with a bunch of patients and, um, at the time, you know, I was like, damn, I got furloughed, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, okay. But then as I'm driving home, I realized that I asked God for this. I asked God to be protecting it. If this is what, how God is going to protect me, then I, I go ahead and accept it. And the crazy thing about it, once I got home, cause I was thinking like my money would be furloughed, this, that, and the other. When I got home, I had been waiting for this check from the County for my homeowners insurance or whatever. I had been waiting, um, it was like a rebate check for having some type of homeowner thing. Well, anywho, I had been waiting for this check for like months. When I got home, the day of me being furloughed, that check was in the mail. And I was like, okay, thank you, God. So that was like another confirmation and saying like, okay, everything is going to be all right. Your, your money going to be all right. You're going to be good. So like back to the story, back to the print domain, how I got started. So during that time, like I said, I never had, when I was working, I was so exhausted and mentally that I couldn't even, I got home, I never had the time to really like focus on getting my game plan together as far as like print on demand or any, not, not even really print on demand because I don't think at that time that I knew exactly what print on demand was to even think about starting a print on demand business. So I started researching in ways that I can start a business that had low um, investment and I actually, uh, what happened was I took a course and I think this guy, he was offering the course for like $7, really cheap. And I was like, okay, boom, I'm going to see what he's talking about. And he introduced me to print on demand. And that's how I got into the print on demand business. I was like, okay, this is cool. Okay. So I can, excuse me, I can, um, I can create designs. Uh, I can put my motivational quotes, my empowerment quotes on, on apparel. And once I start looking into the different companies, there's so many companies out here that offer um, print on demand services and they have so much um, different apparel that you can put stuff on, like um, from T-shirts, hoodies, to purses, to leggings, to dresses. I mean, I have made, so far, I have, I have, created a pearl, um, the print on demand pearl on body suits, sweat suits, um, one pieces, uh, scarves, uh, face masks, um, home decor, uh, handbags, uh, again, hoodies and t-shirts. Um, yeah. So, um, it's a variety of products that you can print your your designs on. So, yeah. So, anywho. So, just giving y'all a quick what print on demand is. Like I said, I'm not going to play the full video because it's like 30-something minutes long. And you can go to my YouTube page and it's up there. You can get the full video. But this is just part one of the video. So, let me get into Let's it. Let's get into it. Okay. So here's what to expect in this <clears throat> course. This part one of our print on demand um, course is introduction to print on demand, POD, market research and niche selection, product selection and design, and print on demand platforms. Okay. And as you see at the bottom. Okay. So real quick. I broke this. The first video is basically introduction to print on demand, which is 30 something minutes long. I didn't 
want to make the video extra long because I know myself, I'm not going to sit through like a two hour. I mean, I will, but I will break it up. But at the same time, if I see a video that's like two two hours long on YouTube, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I got time to sit through that. So what I did was I broke these sections up and I made a video in which the second video, the market niche, uh, market research and niche selection video will be um, will be public tonight. It'll be posted tonight. And then I have the product selection and design video that's going to be posted, um, I believe, tomorrow. I'm not sure because, <clears throat> yeah, I had to edit these videos as well. And then I'll, the last video for the part one would be the print on demand um, platforms that the most used print uh, on demand, with the most, not even the most used, the most popular print on demand platforms. Okay. So let's get into it. And as you can see at the bottom, let's see, did I go, let me go back. Let me go back. Oh, oh I went too far. I went too far. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, go away thing. Back in this course, this part one of our print on demand um, course is introduction to print on demand, POD, market research and niche selection, product selection and design, and print on demand platforms, okay? And as you see at the bottom, it says print on demand can be very profitable if done correctly. Okay. So moving forward, introduction to print on demand POD. What is print on demand? Print on demand POD refers to a business model or manufacturing process where products are created in response to individual orders or demand as opposed to traditional marketing methods where items are produced in bulk before being sold. In POD, items are manufactured, usually characterized, I'm sorry, usually customized or personalized only when an order is placed. This approach eliminates the need for large inventories reduce waste and allows for greater flexibility in meeting customer <coughs> excuse me preferences all right all right so at the bottom it says to customization craze pod allows for extensive customization enabling customers to personalize products with their own designs text or images reflecting individual tastes and preferences okay so that's basically the definition of what a uh, print on demand is um and just to real quick like i said i wasn't gonna go through this whole video i just wanted to just jump on here real quick it's the second week of 2024 and i said to myself you know what i have a lot of uh, a lot of people ask me questions on how my business model is on what how how did i get started so i said you know what i'm gonna do a video I'm going, to, I'm going to do a video series of what print and demand is because sometimes you just don't have the time to just sit and research everything. So I just packed it up in a, in, um, a series of videos for anyone that, you know, wants to um, look into the print and demand business. So basically, print and demand, you don't, only thing you really do is create your designs, upload it to the print and demand website. Put it on your apparel, price it based on the price, based on, um, cause every time when you go on the print and demand platform, it gives you a cost of the item and the cost of the shipping. So you incorporate that into your price and then you set your price, your profit margin, and you want to make sure that you are, um, making a profit from whatever price you set minus whatever the cost of the product is and the shipping. So to make sure that number one, that it's a profit being made. Okay. So like I said, you just upload and then you put it, your on, you put your designs or whatever, your motivational saying, whatever you want on your product. 
and then you get mock-ups whereas though these mock-ups show what the product will look like with your design on it you can also get um, mock-ups with like with uh, people wearing your product and stuff like that or you can go to other websites and upload your product and get your own mock-ups and stuff like that so <clears throat> really you don't do no of you don't do none of the the hard work meaning you ain't slaving printing nothing okay you're not you don't you don't have to get a machine to print just your stuff you're not buying anything in bulk you're not doing the manual work so like i said in 2024 we are working smarter not harder so if you want to be the person that go and get the get the, the get the machine the print and press machine and stuff like that and do your own then that is your preference more power to you and shout out to you but i knew for me one i didn't have the space for all of that and two i didn't want to have the hassle of just having to you know find the machine and this and that and the other i didn't want to i didn't want to really do all of that so basically i took this route and so far i'm loving it because like I said, it's a low, it's a low investment. The the highest thing you probably pay for when you first start, I'm gonna say, is maybe your website. And that's only reason you can get free websites. Um, you know, you can get free websites through like I think like Wix and stuff like that. But I chose Shopify because for me it's easier. It was easier. I did try to go through Wix, but it was so complicated for me. And I was just like, you know what, whatever. So I ended up going with Shopify. I took the, um, I think Shopify had like a 30 day, um, free trial. So I just played around and within that 30 days, I just played around and I built my site and I realized that it was so much easier to navigate than, you know, and to create your, um, your website through Shopify. So, and with that, I think Shopify, I think I pay 40 something a month, 41 or $42 a month to for them to manage my um website so like i said that's probably the most you would probably pay starting up is that monthly fee for shopify and the different platforms the print on demand platforms um they're normally most of them are normally free to um to partner with and you know create your products on they're normally free and <clears throat> but then they they there may be some fees in regards to once a once the customer purchase in regards to like a small fee depending on the um the apparel okay so um like i said the the startup fee is relatively low you can you you can basically start up your print and demand business for less than a hundred dollars for real for real for real and another platform that i use as far as like to create my designs is canva you it, you can get the free um version of that one but i opted to get the um paid one which is like 12.90 something a month or something so it's about 13 dollars because it has more features so yeah so as you as you grow in your print on demand business you can add different things whereas though you don't initially need to be paying for things up front okay so basically, that is the print with the man uh, model. If anyone is interested, um, you can go watch that video. And also within that video and in the description of that video, it is uh, a link to who I use the most <clears throat> in my print on demand business is um, Printful. And, and it is my affiliate link. And you can click onto that and you'll get a little special little um, discount or whatever. So, yeah. But anywho, this is your girl Taz and, I, and it's the second week of 2024 and we are working smarter and not harder. And if you are ready to start your print on demand business in 2024, then yes, please go check out the video and please come back and subscribe tomorrow. I'll be back with the second part of um, part two video. I'm not going to go through the whole video again. I'm just going to give the basis of the video. So yeah, just um, subscribe to YouTube. And follow my channel and follow here for more because, yeah, we're going to get this money in 2024. We're not waiting for the, we're not, we're not waiting for um, um, our jobs to just be like, okay, boom, we're going to take control and we're going to get this money. We're not, we're not going to be sitting here um, worried about, okay, whether or not. 
the next furlough to come up or whatever. No, we're going to get this money. And what I've learned from being furloughed is that you got to have a second income. You have to have a second income. You have to have a second income. Because when I got furloughed, the first thing I thought was like, oh my gosh, like these people's out here controlling my, my money. I, you know, but my faith in God kept me to where though I didn't panic and, and spiral out and, and do nothing crazy. And I can say that, yeah, God, yeah, I, I looked at that as a gift and I was able to, even though I was furloughed, I was able to take the time to do my research into to the apparel business that I had always wanted to start, but didn't know how to start and didn't want to go through having to buy all these this the, the print press machines and doing the manual work myself. Why do all of that when you can do it this way? It's much easier. Okay, it's much easier. It's cheaper to start. And you got a variety of different products that you can put your designs on. And if you are an artist, this is like the perfect thing to make add additional money. Um, additional funds to your profile. If you are an artist and you de- and you create designs, then you need to be putting your 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 designs on on putting your designs on a pearl so you can sell those designs. And you like I said, you don't have to have a print press machine to do the work. You can partner with a print on demand company and they will do the work for you. Period. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to stress yourself out printing uh, and pressing and do, and buying in bulk and all that stuff. With print on demand, it allows you to be able to buy one product, two product, three product, however many you damn want, or however many you don't want. Okay. So at the end of the day, if you're looking to start an apparel business then this is the best, in my opinion, <clears throat> this is the best way to start using print on demand. That way you can get a feel for the business. You can get a feel for, um, <clears throat> you can get a feel for what products are hot, what, what products that, you know, okay, this is a hassle or whatever to sell or whatever. It You, you can test out different apparel that you can test out different products. So, like I said, if you are interested in learning more about the print on demand business model when you start an apparel business, then go to my YouTube channel at Just Taz and the full video is on there. Like I said, I just touched based on what print print on demand is, just in case you don't, you know, some folks didn't know. But um this year I have, you know, tested myself with at least helping a few people to get into the business and start their own print on demand business, a pearl business. And honestly, once you start, you don't even have to stay. Um, you don't have to stay a print on demand business. Okay. So you can start off. So say like, if you wanted to start off and you wanted to do, um, you wanted to just sell hoodies, <clears throat> You can design your hoodies and you see which one, which hoodies is, is which hoodies to sell, uh, which design sale. And if you say, okay, this design sale is better than this one, then you can just focus on selling that one. Versus if you was to get the machine and you printing all these hoodies and you don't know if this going to sell and it ain't sell, you got all these hoodies that you done printed and you trying to get rid of this, you know, you done wasted your money on buying all these hoodies and they not selling with print on demand, you don't have to worry about that. You can do your designs on your hoodies, put it up on, on your website, market it, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, Google, um, Facebook. You can run your little ads and everything. You can save that money that you were going to be spending on buying bulk. You can save that to put towards running your ads. And then that you can test to see which one of those hoodies is the best one to sell or the one to keep. Okay, if that makes sense. But any anywho, I'm gonna leave y'all with that because yeah, I need to get myself together. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here real quick. And like I said, 
if you are looking to start a apparel business and don't know where to start and don't have the funds to do it, start off with print on demand. And like I said, 2024, we are not working harder. We are working smarter. So, yeah. But anywho, I'm out. <clears throat>